if you're going up to the high dive and you're climbing up the steps and all and you feel those nerves and, but when you get to the edge you just go let's go let's go before i go out there i like to say just let it happen you know what i mean just let let your reflexes work let 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 things happen naturally don't think about anything don't think about what i'm gonna do don't think about what he's gonna do just let it flow I wanna test my love for you who don't know how to express my love. That's why I'm American and spray. Hey, hey, hey. my love for you. I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. Okay. I give you the world, but there's other planets too. Where I Jack? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Edgar, you got lane nine? Yeah. Oh, I performed. <laughs> execute. And uh, hopefully she'll got it. And get beat by me. Yeah. What's up guys? We are in Jacksonville, Florida right now. We got back super late. I think it's like 1.30 in the morning right now. It took a long time to get our rental cars, but we are about to head to the hotel in Jacksonville. Thank goodness we don't have to drive all the way to Gainesville tonight. We're not racing tomorrow. We're only racing the 800 and the 4x400 on Saturday. Friday, tomorrow, we just get to chill and hang out. We will see you guys tomorrow for a little bit of a pre-meet action. We'll get this vlog started. Here we go. What's up guys, Jesse here. We are in Gainesville. We just finished the drive from Jacksonville down here. It was about an hour and a half. Right now we are just hanging out in the hotel, getting ready to go to pre-meet. We're gonna head down to the University of Florida in a couple minutes and go do our pre-meet at the track. I got to see a little bit of the heat sheets. Haven't gone into them too extensively. Coach Angel talked to me a little bit about our plan going into this 800 meters on Saturday, which is tomorrow. Almost exclusively sub 150 guys in my heat. Lots of 149s. I think we've got a 146 guy in our heat too. If we run under that 149 mark i have full confidence that we can make it to arkansas and make it to regionals so that's the main goal for tomorrow we're going to relax for the rest of the day we're going to chill out I, I got no roommate it's just me in here so i just get to hang out and relax we're going to go to the track to do pre -meet, like i said zach and regina both are in the 1500 tonight so we're going to watch them do that that'll be super fun we'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow other than that that is it we'll see you guys there
this 1500? Yeah, I'm ready for it. You ready for this 1500 bag? Alright guys, Regina's about to start her 15. Here we go. Maybe on the outside. Let's go, Regina! You got it, Regina. Nice job. Four sixteen for Regina. That's that's crazy. <laughs> Let's go, Zach. Get good go, position, Zach. Zach! Come on, Zach! Good job, Zach. Good position right there. Keep moving, Zach! Keep moving, Zach. You got it. Come on, Zach! Bad English season, let's go. <laughs> Two score records. One for Regina, one for Zach. That's how we start the Tom Jones Chips taste. No chip license. Follow this heart that escapes me 
it escapes me and I'm lost forget me all I want and be gone and party. Seven of the men's 800 meter race. Zach Trotter of Florida State, Spencer Goodell of Alabama, Caleb Levy of Iowa, Ethan Carney of Arkansas, Aiden Hatt of South Carolina, Clay Pender of the Atlanta Track Club Elite, Jesse Hayward of Northern Colorado, Liam Walsh of Texas Tech, Parker Bajite of Georgia Tech, Alex Justice of Kentucky, Alex Snell of Rutgers, Cole Pitrowski of Ole Miss. Two hundred meters down, it is Clay Pender leading the group. Kentucky's Alex Justice right behind him. That's right. Let's go, Justice! with a time of 52.25. Justice, a little less than two tenths of a second behind him at 52.38. Parker Bashait, third from Georgia Tech. Here we go, Jesse. Now, Alex Justice of Kentucky surging ahead to the lead. Down the back stretch. Coming up on the outside, though, Jesse Hayward of Northern Colorado. Oh, 100%. He's the lead entering the final turn. One hundred meters to go here. It is now Jesse Hayward from Northern Colorado. Justice right behind him coming up on the outside here. Can Hayward hang on for Northern Colorado? Yes, he can. Hayward takes the four, one forty eight ninety. Miguel, 149 flat, Alex Justice of Kentucky third at 11. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished the 800, ran a 148.9. Massive day for us. I'm here with Regina and my guy, Kirk. Florida A&M, &M, baby. Every day, all day, big up Jesse. Let's one, go. Jesse. You know what, guy? So much of a PR. 151. I can't complain, you know. Well, That's Jesse what we do, I'm so happy for Let's go, baby. Thank you, doing this stuff, man. Ah, there's a 148 guy walking towards me. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> About the race, so we're gonna watch that. Don't forget about Kung Fu Kenny and Kung Fu Kenny. I don't know who that is. Here we go. Nine. Oh, 10 01. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Get out, Donovan. Come on, Donovan. Go, August. August, you gotta go. Edgar, go. Edgar, go. Get your get set. Jesse, go. Jesse, go. All right, guys, just finished the 4x400. We ran 313 as a team. Pretty good day. That's a season PR for us. All right, we will see you guys back at the hotel. We're going to rest up bright and early tomorrow. We'll see you guys then, travel day. Bye bye. Hey there, Regina. Oh. You can do it, Regina. Let me video you. Two years ago, I was in Coach Angel's office, basically going in there to tell him that I was gonna quit and tell him I'm done with track, I'm hanging up the spikes. I had just gotten COVID that indoor season, and since then it had totally wrecked me, and I was running 158s and 159s over and over and over again. And I was just, I was just so done. I was sad about running, I just wanted it to be over and move on, and to see what's occurred over the last two years and see where I've come, how it's all worked out has been such a blessing to me. It's been so humbling and put everything into perspective about the value of perseverance is something that I can now see the fruits of doing that. It's just so surreal. I know that 148 is a, a groundbreaking time. I'm not making the Olympics with the 148, but for me, it's so meaningful to me to see how I've been able to come here and do this after what I've been through. As far as the actual race went, I don't have a ton to say. Usually I've got some kind of analysis or breakdown, but right now I just feel like I did it, it's over, I ran my time, and I'm just going to, it is what it is. We're gonna leave it there. Same with the 4x4, just super fun day as a team. Ran a 47.7 individually. We're looking really good going into Big Skies. Right now I'm ranked second in the Big Sky in the 800. I think Nico Young is one spot above me. As far as the region goes, right now I'm 19th in the region. I think this time is going to give me the regionals. I think it's going to give me that first round. So I'm hoping that this is the time that's going to give me there. But time will tell as we get closer to conference. We will see what the deal is. If we need to make adjustments as we go along, that's exactly what we'll do. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys all tuning in. It's crazy that we've been able to do what we've been able to do. Having so much success making these videos and making it entertaining for you guys. At the end of the day, I just want this to be fun for you but I really do appreciate all you guys watching and supporting this supporting what I love to do this way so that's it for Tom Jones Invitational 148.9 in the 800 we still got work to do we're going to be heading to the Kansas Relays this weekend and then we got our eyes set on conference and regionals thank you guys again so much for watching this has been it for the Tom Jones Invitational we will see you guys next time bye bye